Turn it on. Ooh! Ooh! Listen to that, Mia! Cool! We got our first power tool! Nice! And so, Paulina Punchwood, the heroine of our story, mother of dinos, friend of the apes, tamer of mini poo flinging primates, and all around dynamite gal, had had enough with his darn son. Oh, you too? Mia, flu Mia flung poo? <laughs> had enough with the sun and the glare and the heat and humidity of this strange world and decided it was time to get an uh, air conditioner. Is that right, Paulina? Yeah! Right. Alright, how about that chair? You gave me the chair earlier. Woohoo! Yeah! Chair it on, girl! Look what I found! <laughs> what? Whoa! Oh dear. Okay. Alright, calm down. Calm down. Alright, she has no patience. We're gonna go. We're gonna go right now. <laughs> uh, before she kills me, we gotta go get um, an air conditioner. I think Walmart's open um, for another hour or two before the sun goes down. We gotta get over there quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we had that uh, that sunspot checked out, by the way, that mole. It turns out it's a uh, it's a benign nevus, according to Dr. Jones, physician's assistant, in the comments, took a closer look yesterday, and, and so it's nothing to... No, okay, we don't have to worry about it. We don't have to worry about it. But the heat and humidity is a problem. So what are we going to do today about this heat and humidity, Paulina? I know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to make a fabricator. That's what we're going to do, because a fabricator will allow us to make um, electricity and some sort of a generator, and maybe we can get an air conditioner going. And I have everything we need! I think so. Hold on. Sorry, guys, I wasn't really prepared for this, but uh, um, uh, once again, I am kind of short on time here. And, oh, bless you. And we want to get this done. So let's go ahead and do the Engram first. Yeah, my daughter's got another field hockey game today. So i got to get over to the school in like an hour and a half, and i got lots to do. So let's, let's, get, let's get going. Fabricator. Right there. 24 engrams. That's a bunch, isn't it? And while we're here, let's go ahead and spend some more engrams. This is, we're going spendthrift today. Spared no expense. We're gonna get we're gonna give this game some flack. We're gonna give some people some flack, probably some dinosaurs. And we're gonna go all out flack suit of armor. Dun dun dun, dun. and that lovely helmet. And we still have 157 engrams <laughs> saved up. Pauline's been saving. And now, let's make this fabricator right now. Now, the problem is, um, I don't know where we're going to put it. So, how about, well, let's let's make it first and see how big it is. It requires, um, oh, I, had, I did have some clothes. Let's put some clothes on. Oops, come on. Because um, we're going to head up to the mountains to get more metal. And you need a little bit of protection for that. Whoops, no, no, no. Bring it over. So this is everything we need. We need 15 crystal. We need cementing paste. We need 50 spark powder. We need 35 metal ingots. And we need 10 oil. And did I say 35 ingots? I think I did. And now I'm just like super heavy. And can we actually move? Nope. I think I have to make it on the fab on the uh, on the bench over there. There we go. And I guess that's it. So I guess it's under structures? Crafting? <gasps> Fabricator! Place materials along with blueprints in this to create certain high-end machine items. Yes, that's what we want. Go ahead, Paulina. Use that brand new knowledge of yours in that big primate brain. And uh, there it is. <laughs> and place it down wherever you can fit it. Yeah, this is not going to be easy. Oh my gosh! Takes up the whole house. Okay, this is going to be a problem, you see. Uh, okay, let's <laughs> let's rethink this. We're going to have to put this outside or expand our house or something here. So here's here's another plan I have, and I was hoping to get some work on this done today, but it doesn't look like it. Do you see my monkey on my back? Yeah, I've got Mia flung poo on my back. And I think what we're going to do is... Oh, oh, dodo egg. Uh, we need that. So here's the plan. We want to make that house up on that ridge over there. And what I think I might want to do is have... Um, Roly-poly here. 
start collecting stones because we're gonna make a big stone wall around that house it's basically just gonna be a cozy cottage just a home that's it um, and I'm gonna leave all my you know my work area all the work shop stuff will be down here this will be the farm and the workshop so I'll come down here when I need to go to work but Paulina wants to live in a cozy cottage uh, right up on that on that ledge now what happened to Donnie where did he go I'm gonna need him Donnie so I have to harvest just thousands of wood and rock to make our cozy cottage with a lovely stone wall around it. But we're going to set uh, Roly Poly right here to the task of collecting stone. And it's, gosh darn, it's getting dark already. We're going to have to make a night trip up to the mountain. It's going to be scary, but we can do it. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to put uh, Roly Poly, and we'll see if this actually works. Donnie, I want you just to settle down. A second, okay. You stay. Following me. We want you two guys as bodyguards following Roly Poly. And in order to do that, you have to get on the mount and then have them follow you. And they actually follow the mount. And. Everybody has food here. Enough food for a very short trip. I'll be right back. And we're going to set uh, Roly Poly. Roly Poly to enable to wandering. Actually, I want to make sure. Uh, yeah, enable wandering, and you are neutral, right? Go on, collect me some stone, big guy. Woo! Haha, <laughs> yeah! That's what we want, lots of stone. <laughs> I love it! Bam! <laughs> you gotta make short work of this. Oh, oh dear. That's a big one. Keep whacking it. You'll get it. Alright, Mama's gonna go. I gotta go get some, uh, some metal. Oh, he did it. He did it! Look at that. And we'll see how much stone we get on the way back. When we, when we come back, we'll stop in and check on him. Get up away from the tree, please. I want to see if um, Mo Slash... Yeah, so Mo and, and Rap Van Winkle are following him. Isn't that awesome? They'll keep him protected. There's not very many predators over here that I have to worry about unless an alpha predator comes by, but that's very, very rare. It's only happened to me one time before. Alright, keep an eye on Roly Poly, okay, guys? He's gonna collect some stone until he can't move anymore. <laughs> and we're gonna head up to the mountains... And, ooh, is that purple? Ooh, that might be a purple beam. It's hard to say. It's like a rainbow beam. Nah, not purple. And uh, we're going to grab some more metal to make the flak armor. Might actually require two trips. Because I need like a hundred ore. Maybe not quite so much, but somewhere in that vicinity. Oh, man, here we go. Sorry, guys. I'll turn on the headlights. This is going to be a little scary and a bit dangerous. But time is a-wasting. Pauline has got things to do. I have things to do. And we have just enough energy probably to make it to the mountain. Oh dear, it's really cold up here. Okay, yeah. Now see, I should have brought my... Well, this stuff has pretty good insulation. Um, oh, there it is down there. I don't think the chitin armor is actually any better at insulating than this stuff right here. All right, wait, Don, hold on. Nothing coming after us to eat us. Nope. Coast is clear. Cover me. Yeah. Ooh. Well, it's cold. Oh, no, look at her pick. Oh, no, look at her pick. Whoa, whoa, dude. Settle, 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 settle. I'm sorry. I whacked him. I whacked him. I whacked him. Sorry, buddy. That's what happens when the kid gets in the way. Dang, kid's his fault. You deserve that smack. <laughs> I hope my pick can make it through this. All right, there we go. There's one down. And let's, uh... I left my rifle at home. Oh, my gosh. Poop. Scared the poop out of me. I left the rifle at home because it's too heavy. That bird is so close. We might have to blow out of here fast, Donnie. I don't think I can kill it with just this rifle, well, with this handgun. Stay right there. I can make it to you if something comes and tries to kill me. This might be the last one we get. Oh, no. 
Where's a uh, little? Did I drop? Uh, I dropped Mia. Mia could have been my warning system. Apparently, she screeches when an enemy is nearby. And what the heck did I do with her? I don't even know what happened to her. Did I drop her? Oh dear. I'm not sure what happened to Mia Flung Poo. We better go. We better go, Donnie. Right now, we gotta go back and check. Because I have a feeling I, I left her somewhere. Yeah. Alright, yeah, let me poo. Good idea. Alright, now let me on. Oh, you're too heavy. We're too heavy. We're too heavy. Arr. I think that's the problem. I think that's the problem. There we go. Okay, we're up. Alright, let's head back home. And... I need to go find, uh, I need to go find Mia. Mia Flung Poo, because she's not on my shoulder anymore. And I don't know what I did with her. Oh, gosh. Now I'm scared. All right, we got to set her down. I'm just about out of gas, carrying all this heavy weight. And I do not see Roly Poly. Oh, wait, there they are. Okay, I see them up there. I see two raptors. <laughs> I see Mo and uh, hold, hopefully that's them. Mo and Winkle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got an eye on uh, on Roly Poly, but I don't see Mia. I must have tossed her off my back at some point. I don't remember exactly when. Oh, we better find her. Let's stop off right here and check on Roly Poly. Have you guys seen Mia? Mia Flung Poo. Hey, Roly, what you got on you, dude? 200 rocks. <laughs> wow. All right, that's enough. That's enough. Everybody follow me. Stop. I think 200 rocks is enough. All right, I just want you guys to stay right here. Disable wandering. Hey, hey, hey. Stop wandering. Okay, I'm just going to leave the three of them here for now. Because Paulina has more pressing business. Oh! <gasps> I did leave you over here all by yourself. Look at little Mia. She's fine. Just wandering around, eating berries. You little stinker. I'm so sorry, Mia. You don't care. She's like, whatever. It's fun here. I like being on my own. <laughs> Get on my shoulder, you little stinker. Oh my gosh, that could have been disastrous. I didn't even realize I did that. You guys must have been... Slapping your faces, as they say. How could he do that? Oh, I'm gonna go. All right, let's drop off this metal quick. And you're gonna stay right on my little shoulder here, little buddy. And we'll get this metal cooking up. Um, oh, we have to make gasoline, too. I forgot about that. But let's do that later. I got more metal than that. It's on Donnie. I was gonna say, wait a second, what did I do? I done messed up. I done messed up. There we go. Alright, Mia Flung Poo is on my shoulder. And I think I'm just going to grab some water quick. Wee! <laughs> Mia, get a drink. Open your mouth. Nice. Should have enough food. Oh, don't leave that door open. Those chickens as well bolt for it. Um, Alright, how are we looking? I think we're ready. Oh no, my pick. Now I have another... I've got a couple extra picks in here, which is very nice. There we go. Get rid of that one. We'll fix that up later. There's my rifle. I'm not gonna bring. Alright. Um, let's go see if we can get a glare. So I can demonstrate... How to shut it off. Yeah, there it is. Uh... Okay, let's just do it over here on the beach. Oh boy. You know what? Let's kill this guy. He's gonna be in the way, but we need some food anyway, so. There we go. Alright. Easy as pie. So I'm gonna bring up the console window. For me it's the tilde key. And you type in R dot um bloom quality. It's the bloom setting, apparently, and you shut that off. That's number one. And then R dot light shafts space zero. 
It shuts off the light shafts. And that, to me, is way better. It still looks fine, in my opinion. And it might even cut down on... Uh... Wow. It might even save a few frames, too, man. It seems like it's a little more responsive now. Very nice. All right. Let's get rolling. Back to the mountains. Get a little more metal. Look at that monkey on my shoulder! <laughs> I really need to get into the habit of making sure Mia is there. I didn't even notice that she was missing. Gotta get used to you, little buddy. Oh, there's a T-Rex down there, and we're running low on gasoline. Yeah, there we go. Bombs away! <laughs> I'm not sure if that was Mia or if it was Donnie that dropped a toid. Uh, I better get down before we run out of gas and crash. And here's a little metal right here. Find a good spot, Donnie. And chill while Mia and I do all the work. <laughs> so Mia will start to screech if a predator comes nearby, any sort of hostile dinosaur or other creature. That's good. That's good. That ought to do. Now let's get out of here. Monkey still there? Yep. Oh no. Okay, we're still good. Alright. Okay, I am tempted. Just to check this blue. Great. Oh dear. Oh no. Donnie, get over here. Donnie. Come here. Come to me. Come to mama. Bring him here, bring him here, we got him. Get him, monkey! Get him, Mia! Fling some poo! Your name after all, Mia Flung Poo, right? Yes. Oh. Oh, dang, get out of here. Oh, I can't even hit it because of this. Thinking. What is it? It's a medium crop plot. I have all that already. What a joke. Get out. Oh, I see him, I see him. Good job, Mia! Alright, now where's Donnie? Oh, he's flying around crazy. Oh, that's how I threw you. I tried to get on. Yeah, you better come run back over here. This is a dangerous spot. I'm trying to get on Don and I must have misclicked him and I chucked the monkey. Chuck the monkey! <laughs> Chuck the monkey! <laughs> so let that be a lesson to you, folks. Make sure you don't chuck your monkey when you're trying to hop on your mount. <laughs> All right, guys, it, it took a long time, but we finally put our two big primate brains together and came up with a, a solid plan here. So, Paulina, you want, you, want to share, you want to share this plan with everybody, Paulina? No, she's shy. Okay, I will tell everyone then, fine. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to tear down this wall. Uh, we're going to demolish this thatch right here. Bam! Just like that. And... We should probably tear down... No, we may not have to tear down this one here. We're going to put the fabricator outside. So, as you know, I had mentioned a short while ago that Pauline is actually going to move out of this house. Um, and this is going to be her workshop. This will be her place of business. And we shouldn't mix business and pleasure. Right? So, once Pauline is out of here... You know what? I think that's enough. Let's turn this off. Yeah, turn that off. Take that out. Then, um, we won't need all these walls and things. So we're going to tear down some walls. And we're also going to make some gasoline while we're doing this. And that requires oil and, uh, and hide. So, and a refining forge. Cool. Yeah, so let's go ahead and make a foundation. We're going to make a thatch foundation. I've got tons of thatch on me right now. Or at least the stuff that you can make thatch foundations with, anyway. And uh, I think we're going to put the fabricator right outside. We'll see if it requires two foundations or only one. I'm not really sure. It is pretty gargantuan. Um, so there's that. Whoa. Leap and lizard right over it. Nice. See, even at, le even at uh, 52, Pauline, you still got the moves, girl. Ooh. Who did that in the house? Who is this? Who human? Drop my me Mia. Where... Oh, you're on my shoulder. Would you stop that? You're supposed to throw the poo outside. See, you can't have nice things with kids and pets, guys. <laughs> you just can't. 
bound to ruin it. And now I'm carrying this stinking poop around. And it is literally a stinking poop. So if I'm standing here... Oh my gosh, it's going to need another whole floor, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> another whole floor. Let's make another foundation. Um, I guess we'll tear this one down, too. Let's tear this one down. Demolish it! Demolish it! Wooden door powers activate. Um, oh, gas. Ooh, makes a lot. Times ten. All right, we'll keep cranking. Oh, that's it. That's it. Okay, good. Saw it right in time. So five each. So they were, uh, yeah, so I think it takes three oil and five hides to make five gasoline cans. So, yeah, we're, Paulie, we're almost there. We're going to make this air conditioner for you soon. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't cut me. Don't cut me yet, girl. Please don't cut me yet, okay? What, what, what? You want some right now? No, 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 not yet. Please, give me some time. I'm working on it. <laughs> uh, she's not easy to work with, guys. She looks nice and everything, but she's tough. Tough boss. Alright, now. My gosh. We're gonna have to put it sideways. I gotta kinda get in here somehow. Ow! I mean, once you put this thing down, I don't think you can move it, right? Which is kind of a shame. We don't need the walls here. This is a workshop. Oh, man. We don't miss. How's it look? It's good! Can we get out? Yes, we can squeeze through. But I can always get rid of this wall over here. If, we, if need be. But I can stand here and work on this bench and this bench at the same time. So that, that might work out. All right. Uh, let's grab all the metal we need. Hold on. What does it take to make this armor? This flak armor. All right. Well, obviously it takes metal and it takes some um, fiber and it takes hide. So we'll just bring as much as possible. Oh, I can't even carry it on over here. And can I get to your inventory? Yeah. Just have to press the right button. There we go. Bam, bam, boom. Armor, metal. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's make the face mask first. Oh, uh, wait a minute. I just... Why won't you make it? Oh, we need gas. This thing needs gasoline. Right, duh. That's why I made the gas. Now, where does the gas go? Now, they say just put one in at a time. Turn it on. Ooh! Ooh! Listen to that, Mia! Cool! Cool! We got our first power tool. Nice. All right. Oh, no. I didn't want to do that. Oh, shucks. That wasted the gas. That was the warning in the wiki. <laughs> All right. Let's 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 make stuff while we're in here. Enough gawking at it. There we go. Let's make our gauntlets. We're going to make the booties. Hello, booties. We're going to make the helmet. And why is it going into the queue? It's really loud, though. Make the chest plates. And leggings. And that's it. Just enough for everything, guys. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then we can shut the dang thing off because it's way too loud, huh? All right, let's, let's grab everything out of there. See how heavy all this stuff is. My gosh. All right. Uh, there's nothing else to make right now with this gas can, so I'm just going to turn it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's a waste. Let's put the gas over here so we don't use it all up inadvertently. And take off Paulina's pants. Take that, that old helmet. Take all that off. And why am I still carrying Mia's poop around? <laughs> Mia, you silly. <laughs> and now we're gonna get uh, dressed. Get Mia, get me dressed. You're my squire. Shoes, mask. Oh, that's a good look. <laughs> You'll never guess who I am. I am your father. No, I'm not kidding. All right. Um, hold on. Let's put the rest on. Gloves. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like a, a knight. A knight of the round table. Ooh. Did you just poop in your armor, Paulina? That's not good. Not a good idea. All right, man. This is awesome. Let's get that pike out and check it out. Wow. But that looks pretty good. Oh, wait. Now we are going to go to the bathroom. Let's see what happens here. Oh, I guess there's a hole for the poop. <laughs> Isn't that nice? I don't see it. But, hey. It works. I don't know how this contraption works, but 
It does, so I won't I won't ask questions. All right, so let's get uh, let's get a nice shot of Polly in here for the. That's not funny, Mia. I was gonna get a screenshot, and you just had to do that, didn't you? Yeah, you little cretin. All right, fine. Tell you what, here's what we're gonna do with you. Get off. Now, Giz, get a picture. <laughs> So that's it for now, guys. I gotta go. Hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll play around with the Fabricator in the next, uh, well, from here on out, essentially. There's lots of cool stuff to make. Electricity, um, I don't know, all kinds of cool stuff. So we'll, we'll look into it later. So, all right, for now, we're gonna sign off. It's Pollyanna Punchwood. Signing off till next time. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.